Hello guys and welcome to my project wax update for the month of August. What a wonderful So this project is based on finishing off the candles in my collection and I have some empties to show you guys. I also have some new candles that I'm adding in for like a transition into fall since we are nearing like the middle of August. I want to put in a couple candles that will help me transition into fall, ones that I usually will put in anyways. So I'm really excited to show you guys the new ones that I'm putting in and then I've made some really good progress on some other candles too. So let's start it off with the candles that I finished. And if you guys notice, we're in a new spot. I hope it's okay with the window behind me. I should really do this facing the other way, but my kitchen is a mess right now. So we're just doing it right here. This is at my new dining room table area. So I think it's cute with like the background. Anyways, um, let's start. So the first two that I finished right here from the last month, I have mahogany coconut and blueberry marshmallow bar. So mahogany coconut, I just finished last week. And this one is so, so good. I do already have a backup that I'm going to save for next summer, but this one is Creamy Coconut Mahogany Woods and English Lavender. And I put it in the project, I think full, and then we were halfway last month and now I finished it and it burned really, really well. Um, this one was an amazing thrower. All of the mahogany candles are always going to be super strong. So this one was awesome. And then Blueberry Marshmallow Bar was really yummy. A nice, like just middle of the summer blueberry scent. It was really good. This one is sugar, blueberry, sweet vanilla, and toasted marshmallows. A little bit of gourmand with that vanilla um, and a little bit of blueberry. It was really nice. I hope they bring back blueberry pie. I don't think they are this year, but maybe next year. But blueberry pie is one of my favorites. And this blueberry is like the same scent, just without like the graham cracker crust. Okay, updates on things that I have been using. So first we have cozy linen right here. This one is lily of the valley petals sweet orange and cotton musks so this one i did get a little bit of progress just from here to here in the last month not really using it a ton like i said this is not really like my favorite scent but i will use it every now and then so i'm keeping it in my bedroom right now mainly to use in the bathroom because it is like a linen scent so it's nice and fresh smelling so that's cozy linen the other one that i have in my bedroom is santorini coast and this one is so so good um, my progress from the last month is from here to here. So I'm pretty close to finishing it and I'm like debating whether or not I should save this for next year because it is my favorite summer scent or if I should just go ahead and finish it off. So we'll see what I end up doing, but I'm going to keep it in the project. It's creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. Just like a really yummy body care coconut. It's so good for the bedroom. It's like my favorite. Okay, now we have ones that I've been using in the living room. So the first one is red, white, and blue cake, which I put in in July, and I have not been using it at all. <laughs> So I have a teensy bit of progress. I think I burned it once since I updated you guys last. It's red raspberries, ripe blueberries, and whipped vanilla cream with soft white cake. Um, yeah, it's just like a cherry cake scent. It's not my favorite scent. I just don't really like it. So I think I'm going to take this one out of the project and put it back into my collection and I'll save it for next summer to focus on. But yeah, it's just it's just so basic to me that it's not really worth my time trying to finish it and it's still pretty full so i'm just gonna put this back in my collection the next one i got a surprising amount of use on is buttery popcorn sorry that was my ice maker in the background but buttery popcorn um i got quite a bit of progress on it so from here to here in the last month and i think i burned it two or three times the notes are melted butter fresh popcorn and sprinkle of sea salt i kind of like this one it is literally buttered popcorn. I'm going to leave it in because I think it's going to be really good for fall movie nights, right? Oh my gosh, it'd be so good for movie nights. So I'm going to leave this one. Um, not really like super focusing on it, but it's a nice like special occasion candle. Like I said, if you're going to sit around the TV and watch TV shows or movies, this is a really good one. And then we have pistachio and toasted vanilla. So I want your guys' opinion on this one. Should I save this one or should I finish it? Because we are right here on the candle with you know enough for like an entire month's worth of use. So should I like save it for January, February? Cause this is such a cozy scent. I feel like it would be really nice if I saved it for myself for after the holidays. It's salted pistachio, toasted vanilla almonds. That's literally it. It's so calming. It's just a beautiful like pistachio vanilla scent. It's so good. 
So yeah, let me know what you think. Should I save this one for the, uh, I, what would that even be like late winter, I guess, but I got some progress. I'm still using it. I just, I want your opinion. Should I keep this one and save it for after the holidays or should I finish it now? Let me know. And wait until you see the other ones first because I have some other ones that I'm introducing besides that. So let's get into the new ones. The first new one that I'm putting in is Sugared Snickerdoodle. Now, I know this is really weird and random, but I lost this candle. It was actually underneath the sink in this bathroom on our second floor, and I totally forgot that I even had it. And so I've been using it every now and then, just like lighting it to have a nice candle, and it is so strong. If I light it on the second floor, I'll smell it on the third or the first floor. Like, it's very strong for just a single wick. So the notes are warm spice, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. It doesn't really have to me any cinnamon. It just smells like warm sugar cookies. So I'm really liking it because it carries so well. I'm putting it in the project because I've already been using it just on its own and it's already down to here. So I really only have a couple more uses to finish it off and I'm loving it. It's just like a nice, like every now and then just put it on and forget about it and come back and everything smells great. So I love sugared sticker doodle. It's been going really, really well. So that one I'm putting in. Another one that I've just been using and not updating you guys on is my new Homeworks candle. This is Affogato Espresso and it's basically ice cream espresso. So the notes are hot espresso, vanilla bean gelato, almond milk and warm spices. It's just a nice coffee scent. Um, it's not super coffee whenever it's burning. It's a lot more like just a vanilla gourmand, but it smells like coffee on cold for sure. And I've been burning the crap out of this. Now, this one has tunneled pretty bad. I think I messed up on the first burn of this one and I didn't let it go for long enough to have everything pulled out. So this chunk has not gone down, but I did get it to go down on this side. So I think it's salvageable. Um, but it's a really good scent. It carries really well. It's not super strong, to be honest. It really only permeates like the floor that it's on, um, but it's a nice scent and I've been liking it in the mornings, especially work from home mornings. So I'm gonna put this in the project. It is already like down to here, so it's not full. It's maybe a little bit more than halfway full. So that is this one. Another, coffee scent i mean this isn't really a coffee scent but i'm considering it that this is cinnamon spice vanilla and this will be my first transition to fall candle i love this one for fall time it's so yummy and gourmand and just a little touch of spice the notes are fresh ground cinnamon sugar crystals and tahitian vanilla bean this one to me is sh what sugared snickerdoodle should have been because it really is like a sugar cookie with the cinnamon sugar on top it is so yummy. It's very gourmand. It's not too heavy on the cinnamon though, like most of the fall candles are. So I really like it and it's right here. Um, I think I burned it a couple times last year when I first got it, but it is in the fall packaging. Really, really love it. And this is gonna be my morning work from home scent for sure in the office. So very excited to put this one in the project and to start on the fall stuff. And the last candle that I'm putting in the project is also going to be my next transition to fall candle. And this one is the blends collection from this year's SAS. We have In the Stars and Honey Crisp Apple. So this one is super pretty. I have not yet burned it, so it is completely full. And I'll read you the notes. It's Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Golden Honey Crisp, and Apple Blossom. So usually I will put in Champagne, Apple, and Honey for August going into September. But instead I figured I'd try this new one cause I haven't tried it yet. Um, and it smells amazing. And I really loved In the Stars when I had it earlier in the year. So I'm very excited to try it. I've never had Honeycrisp Apple, um, but I'm assuming it, since it does kind of smell like champagne apple and honey in here, that it's gonna be pretty similar. So I'm very excited to burn this one. Like I said, it's completely full. And this one will probably be my next one to go in the bathroom. I mean, not bathroom, in the bedroom once I finish Santorini Coast. Very excited about this one. This will be my, um, when I'm craving fall candle. <laughs> That'll be when I pull this one out for August. So that's everything for the candles for my Project Wax update for August. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. So let me know down below, have you started on your fall candles? Are you still working on finishing your summer candles? Um, and then like, what is your go-to scent for the month? Let me know down below. I'm excited to see your answers. And I do try to answer all the comments that you guys send 
um, within like a day of you sending them, but I am pretty bad at answering comments. <laughs> I will say that I get to them, but it might be in a few days time. So just be patient. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.